Chart 5 is going to be helpful because it's going to show you all the forms of the basic pronouns. We know that ego means I, but then once we get over into the, the other forms of this pronoun, the, the, the structure, the, the form itself changes so much that you just have to know that this is the same word. Emu is the same word as ego, just a genitive singular form. Emoi, the dative, and emma as the accusative. And then the plurals, humais, humon, humin, and humas. Mm -hmm. So don't bother trying to figure it out. Just uh, memorize the pronouns. You're going to encounter them forever. They're everywhere in the scriptures. And so memorize the forms, or at least hang on to this chart. And when you come across a word that you can't recognize, if you think it's small enough to be, it might be a pronoun, look at it and see if it matches. And like in many other languages, the, the uh, second person is not the same in the singular and the plural. Singulars, um, su, su, soy, sa, and then plural, who, mice, who, mon, who, men, who, mas. The you all, use guys. The you alls and the use guys. And because we have to deal with all three genders, when you get to the third person, you recognize you're going to be dealing with altos, alte, alta. You're going to be dealing with uh, three different genders of the third person pronoun. And this is, again, this is where pronouns are different from other declinable forms because it, they are divided up by person rather than just uh, gender, case, and number. Okay, so the, the first person singular that would translate all I and then my and to me and me. Yes. Yep. Okay. And the third person, masculine, altas, would be he. Feminine, alte, she, and then alta, it. His, to him, and him. Mm -hmm. Demonstrative pronouns, the ones that would be translated as this or these, they also are going to have come in various different forms, depending upon gender, case, and number. And then also the, uh, the demonstrative pronoun that would be translated that or those. Echinops comes in its various different forms. Echinos at least maintains the same stem throughout all of its inflections, which is a great thing. Not all words do that, so take it when you can get it. And then there is the ever popular relative pronoun, that which would be translated who, what, which, or that. And uh, this, you'll notice that this one pretty much follows the definite article. Only the relative pronoun is accented in the modern versions. So that, that helps out if you're reading Greek and you've come across something that looks like a definite article, but, it, but reading it, it doesn't fit as a definite article. Check and see if it has an accent. Okay, so the who and what and which, those are not used as questions. Like no, who uh, that, would be, that would be TIS T. Okay, so it's more like... Like the man who ate the apple. Yeah. Because 
Could you go through those in the different cases, how that would translate? So, yeah. Okay. Um, the, the man who is nominative, the man who ate the apple, and then, yeah. um, and then a genitive is the apple belonging to the who, so how does that translate? That would be, um, um whose apple? I'm not who's? sure I ever have encountered one of those. Who if, you? if, uh, uh, certainly it's probably there. But we'd have to look at a particular example to see how it was translated. I can't think offhand of how Should it would be. Should be whose, though, because it's of, the apple of yeah. who? Whose? Whose apple? The girl ate whose apple? That's the question. Of whom? Of um, whom? Or, or, uh... Of whom is the direct object, hmm. right? And the then, boy whose apple was eaten. The boy? The who, boy whose, whose apple, apple was, was eaten. eaten. Thank you. And then dative, um, indirect object. To um, well, let's, let's yeah, take to whom? Let's uh, let me uh, just to quickly. I'll have to check and see yeah. if I can okay. find an example. Don't put it in a question. I'll just pause.